This is Jonathan Agar, fifth Pro Boxing fans, joined by George Groves. George, wow, uh, have you got your breath back after that? Yeah, it was a great fight, wasn't it? Great fight. Heart in your mouth if you're um, either one of their team, Wardley team or or or, Cra um, Cra or or Clark's team. So yeah, I'm out of breath. I'm a bit I'm a bit frazzled from that. Uh, luckily, I got to I got to do the blow to blow com so for Sky, and that's the yeah, it's the best seat in the house when it's a fight like that. So both guys dug super deep it's a shame that one of them couldn't couldn't win um, but on my scorecard there was only a point in it so there's you know a draw kind of seems seems fair but um yeah, epic night, both guys delivered. Uh, obviously, Wardley scored the knockdown. I think it was the fifth round. Uh, Clark came back. Uh, what did you make of sort of the last few rounds? It, it felt like Wardley, that cut, he had to do something about it and he just he just fought fire with fire. Yeah, so I mean, it, it like the, the fight just sort of changed so many different times. Uh, the expression that we use in the gym is like punch with someone. So you throw the punch together. Like literally, you throw, we trade right hands, sit in the pocket and let it go and there were times in the middle rounds where Wardley was coming on top with that he was landing his shots when they were trading right hands and then you know in that final third Clark was then landing, landing that. and maybe that's because Wardley's face was swollen you know he might not have been able to see he definitely was struggling to breathe through that nose um, but tremendous effort from him as far as I'm aware the man's never lost you know he, he had four white qualifiers which he won all, won all of them and then he ain't put a foot wrong as a pro had never been this far in terms of into the championship rounds into the deep end never been behind on, on the cards and had to pull it out of the bag so tremendous effort for him to, to, uh, tonight and tremendous effort from from Clark as well it was, it was great lastly is the rematch uh, the best option for both after that could it be even in a bigger place than the O2 I'm working for Sky tonight and if they were going to put it back on Sky I'm sure Sky would love it but if I'm, if I'm truly honest no, neither of those two fighters need to take a rematch next you know they would have left you know they would have left sank in the ring tonight they would have improved as fighters so now take those improvements elsewhere go and have another easy run out get some more rounds banged and love to see it again further on down the line you know in a year or two's time maybe for something a little bit more significant but um, you know they've done a, a memorable thing here tonight they, they've, they've pretty much sold out uh, an O2 arena for a, essentially a British title fight it's only been done a couple of times before probably only once outside the heavyweight division um, but they're always good fights so yeah it's great George appreciate your time uh, and I'll put a link for your podcast in, in the description thank you very much